Hello, Celia. Hello, Steve. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm right. You are. You're in Cyprus at the minute. Have you had this really warm welcome there? Oh my gosh, the best. Literally the best welcome ever. Everyone here is super, super nice. Um, I've had the best time. So yeah. What have you been doing? A lot of interviews, actually. It's been great. I also filmed the music video here, which was pretty cool for my song for Eurovision. So it's cool. Yeah, fun. I was going to say that is the main reason, right? You're actually yeah. getting into full Eurovision mode. Um, how did the video shoot go? It was amazing. It was a long day, though, I have to say. I mean, I started at five and then we finished at 1030 at night. But you're used to putting in the hours, aren't you? Exactly. So it was it was fine. Give us the biggest tease about the song. Like, what are we in for? OK, so as you know, the song is called Liar. I also do this little hand move. <laughs> for, for people who can't see, there's lots of L's going there's on, lots of L's on the screen. On. Yeah, lots Liar. of L's. Liar. Basically, it's a very dancey, poppy song. Has a lot of energy. Uh, I will be dancing, definitely. What, uh, well, the meaning of the song is basically like you're in a fake world with fake scenarios, like for example, sexuality or body shaming or whatever, and you're, you're kind of breaking out of that fake world and then like telling the truth, I guess. Empowering. Yeah, very empowering. That's the word, empowering. I will use it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you can have that for free. That's okay. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what was it like? You are you're, you're from Sydney, aren't you? But what is your uh, connection with Cyprus? So, my dad is full Cypriot, and then my mum's um, full Greek. So, so it's been really fun though, especially coming to Cyprus because it is my second time. But when I went, I went when I was very young, so I don't really remember it. Um, but it's really great to come back, and it has really brought me closer to Cyprus. So, it's it's really cool. So you're bilingual as well? Yes, I'm bilingual. Because you get the chance to, to use it all day, every day, right? At the minute. Well, look, I'm not like fluent, fluent, but I understand everything and I can say, I can have a conversation and say most words. Um, but I do mix it with English sometimes just in case I can't find the word. But it's cool. It's great. It's easy. So when did you get the call about Eurovision and how did you react? Oh my God, it was literally the best day ever. I got it. <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. It was, I was actually about to go to sleep because the time difference is, you know, obviously different. Um, yeah. And it was like midnight and my mum like starts, I, I like I literally hear her running up the stairs and I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? And she walks in my room and she's like screaming. She's like, Celia, Celia. I'm like, I'm a, I was afraid. I was like, what's happening? Like, what's going on? Like, is everything Okay. She was like, you've got Eurovision, oh, you've got it, you've got to represent Cyprus. And I was, I didn't sleep that night as you probably wouldn't, but like, yeah. it was so exciting. I called my family straight away on our little group chat. It was so cool. You are a bit of a triple threat, aren't you? Singing, dancing and acting. Yes. You know, and it's always been in your world, hasn't it? It's been, no, always. Literally, I started singing, dancing and acting actually when I was four years old. And from then on, I loved it. And I just continued to do it. What was the first Celia production? What was the first starring role? For, act, for acting? For singing? For, en for any. Oh, or oh. even even yeah. the one that you just did in your bedroom for your mum and dad. You know when you're, you're a kid and you make up your own like show and oh. song and dance? Well, when I was younger, I always used to sing um, Whitney Houston songs. Yeah. I was obsessed. So I would always do performances for mum. Um, my Whitney Houston singing nothing, <laughs> all these big songs that I was screaming my lungs out, but it's it was great. I, I did it the same as well. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a singer now, but like I always remember doing little performances what? for mum and dad. So and what must they have thought when they were watching it? Because I thought I was the you know the most confident person in the world, right? Exactly. They they were my they were my audience. I've seen the video of you singing Whitney Houston. Oh. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well, because I've because I've done it for so long, and well, no, because I've grown up with the song. I think it's a very sentimental sentimental song for me. Um, so I do like to sing it quite often. But yeah, it's cool. I love Whitney. I also went to see The Colour Purple last week and you've done uh, I'm Here, which is the big song from The Colour Purple. I love how you know that because every time I say that song, no one knows what the song is. It's a modern musical theatre classic. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It's so good. I actually haven't watched the musical myself and I need to. The songs are amazing. Also, the character's called Celie. 
Celia and Celia. No, oh my God, I know that. That's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> so you've got to mix these two things. So also, I've seen all the videos of you dancing, right? But you've got to mix the song and the dance. So what is your strategy? Well, I will tell you, it is very difficult. But I have been doing it for a while. And now, obviously, I'm going to focus on it heaps more. I'll, be j I'll basically just be practicing every day rehearsals. Another thing is I will be running on a treadmill while singing. That will help, <laughs> hopefully, which I think it will. There's two people that I have uh, that I know that have done that running on a treadmill. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's more common, but Beyonce is the classic. I always remember an interview that I think her dad did or something about how when she was a teenager in Destiny's Child, that's how she learned to to breathe. But also, you remember Chanel, uh, who represented Spain a couple of years ago oh. with slow mo. Yeah. She uh, said that she ran on a treadmill in heels. She while she was singing oh my gosh <laughs> how is that even possible i don't know how is that possible because she was what well, she was wearing heels on the stage right she yeah what? she was yeah and it was it was that high energy yeah. plus singing thing because i'm guessing you've got to know how to control your breathing and control, control what what you're doing your diaphragm while you're dancing yeah, exactly exactly it's it's a it's a it's a difficult thing but like Exactly like what you said, like all the famous artists and Chanel, I absolutely loved her song, by the way, and her dancing is incredible. Um, they all do it and they, it works. So I guess I should try it too. <laughs> Tell us about your dancing because uh, you spend a lot of time in LA, don't you? Yes, I do. I go, I go to LA mostly to train, for training in dance and in, and in singing as well. Um, but yeah, again, I've been dancing since I was four years old and it's always been a big big part of my life and I don't think I'll ever stop same as singing and acting I will never stop any of them so who's your favorite dancer Michael Jackson forever uh, I do a specific type of dance I've obviously done different styles but it's called popping and mm. Michael Jackson that's basically his style and he does all these cool things on the floor with his feet and like that gliding sensation and like that strong um pop in his like arms and chest so i do i do that style mostly so how difficult is it to pop it's actually difficult and i've tried <laughs> to teach my friends i'm like pretend you're on a mo on a motorbike i can't it's a really hard to explain is it hard to remember choreo that fast oh well yeah it, it, when, when you first start it definitely is but once you you know keep training and practicing i think your memory it's like muscle memory and you just like remember mm. it you don't have to think about it which is good so has the the routine for Malmo already been started? Oh, it's done. It's done. It's done. Yes. Ah! Yes. Um, it was finished in LA with the guy Groove and Kelly Swinney for the choreographers. I've known them for a very long time as well. Great, it's looking good. You're at this stage where everything is there and you're about to unleash it all. It is, it actually is. And it's it's hard not to, you know, explode and bring it out, but it's it's gonna come soon in Malmo. So Exciting. Did you bring any Tim Tams over to Cyprus? You have like hit the point on this. I brought Tim Tams to LA and I gave them to yeah. the choreographers and I was going to save a box. I don't know where it went. It was in my- You lost it. And it's gone. Maybe- Can we- Yeah. I know it's a cliche, but they are amazing. But they are amazing biscuits. And for people that don't know what Tim Tams are, how would you describe a Tim Tam? A chocolate covered biscuit but inside the biscuit, it's got this chocolate cream that's like frozen. And then on the outside, it's glazed with chocolate, but it's not just like milk chocolate. It's like this specific nutella -y taste. It's really good. You know, uh, the singer Natalie Imbruglia, the Australian singer? Yes. You know Natalie yes. Imbruglia? Yeah. So I remember seeing this interview ages ago where she talked about how you bite one corner off of a Tim Tam and then you bite off the diagonally opposite uh, end of a Tim Tam and then you put it in like a hot drink and then you use it as a straw and so the hot drink kind of goes all the way up the Tim Tam and then you put it all in your mouth and you just have this like amazing Tim Tam chocolate this hot nice. drink explosion. Why have I not tried this and I live in Australia? That's crazy. Last year Cyprus was represented by Andrew Lambrew. Yes. Has he given you any advice? Oh definitely, yeah. We actually met up in Australia because we actually live five minutes away from each other, which is crazy. It what? Can... You live five minutes yeah. away from each other? Yeah, literally five minutes away. And I and some of my family knows his family. It's crazy. We've like connected somehow. I don't know what it was, but Yeah. It was cool. We met. He did tell me a few tips, a few tricks, a few 
like basically the whole experience and but yeah he's super cool he is amazing he's like a big brother actually it's pretty cool but he is so talented i can't even fathom his voice is amazing i love that your neighbors yeah it's crazy i know something else about you you are a a newsreader. Oh, I didn't even tell you about that. Yes, I'm a newsreader for Nickelodeon. And uh, so, how long have you been doing that for? Um, two years now. I just present news for kids. It's awesome. We went to the Kids Choice Awards in LA, which was pretty cool. I was in the same room as Adam Sandler, and I was literally <laughs> oh, I like my jaw was dropped. I was like, "There's no way we're like 50 feet apart right now." Like it was crazy. You were nominated for an award, weren't you, as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, um, for Nickelodeon, yeah. Did you win? No, well, unfortunately we did. Oh. But it's okay. It's okay. At least we're, it's okay. At least we're there. It's good to be nominated, as they always say. It's exactly. like the cliche thing to say. But yeah, but you know, to get that recognition. What's your diary like between now and Eurovision? Between now and Eurovision? Rehearse? Yeah. Practice? Yeah. And hard work. It's basically like that all day, every day. <laughs> over the moon i am so 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 excited literally i have i'm counting down the days i have a calendar and i'm counting i'm ticking off every day celia it's great to talk to you good luck and we'll catch up with you lots more between now and malmo thank you steve so good to meet you you too see you soon celia Bye. <laughs>